Hello again. Today, I'm going to show how we can expand a Synology NAS. It's going to be demonstrated with this Seagate 12 terabyte drive. Currently, I'm using the Synology DS 1522 Plus model. It has three 12 terabyte drives currently in it and a Synology hybrid RAID configuration. To be able to expand your RAID capacity, there are some requirements that need to be met first. Drive or health status must be shown as healthy. Allocation status must be initialized or not initialized. Drive type must be the same, so you cannot mix HDD and SSD or SATA and SAS and 4K native and non-4K native drives. The drive must be the same size or larger than the largest drive for SHR. For the other RAID types, it must be equal to or larger than the smallest drive. If you're not sure what drives you currently have, you can look by going into Storage Manager. So let's open up Storage Manager. And in here, we're going to click on HDD SSD. And these are my three drives. If you just double click on them, you see the information. You see the model number. You see if it's a 4K native drive. You see its health status, which is healthy. And with all these being green and normal, everything's looking good. And then if you look in the overview, you will see that the entire system is healthy, so it is ready to go. So let's install the new 12 terabyte drive now. Now, if your NAS does not support hot swappable drives, you first need to power it down. Then install the drive, then power it back up. So we have a key that they provided. This is what we're going to use to unlock the next bay. So we're using the first three bays right now. We have bay 1, 2, and 3. Those currently have drives in them. So we are just going to pop this out. And what we do here is we can pull these off. And we put the drive right on the sled. And it is now secured in the sled. So now we're going to take our drive and slide it in. And lock it in place. There we go. Now our next step is to get, log on to the NAS. We already are. So we're going to go into Storage Manager again. So let's go into Storage Manager. It shows here that it is in process. We're going to click on Storage. And we'll click right here, Add Drive. We see right here, Drive 4. It's a SATA HDD, 10.9 terabytes. We're going to pick this. Estimated capacity will bring it up to 32.7 terabytes. We'll hit next. This operation will expand the storage pool capacity and result in unallocated space. If you plan on using only a single volume, you can further allocate that capacity to volume one and expand it. So we're going to expand the capacity of volume one to about 32.7 terabytes. So we'll hit next, and everything looks good, so we'll hit apply. And of course, all the data on the newly added drive will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, the drive is brand new, there's no data on it. So we'll click OK. So we see here that the drive is initializing right now, it's at 70%. And this last part's going to take time. So it'll be, for me, it looks about two days, eight hours, and 41 minutes before the drive is available. Once that is complete, 
um, I'll have access to all the storage space. The NAS now has an extra 12 terabyte drive, giving it another 10.9 terabytes of storage to the pool. In my configuration, I have one drive now for data protection and three of the 12 terabyte drives are available for storage use. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please like and subscribe to my channel as it helps the channel grow. If you have any suggestions on future videos, just leave them in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and until next time, bye everybody.